Servant of the People, Remembering the Life of Patrick Manning. He was appointed Prime Minister four times. What a feat! Patrick Augustus Mervyn Manning was ever dedicated to public office and service to Trinidad and Tobago. Born to humble beginnings on 17th August 1946 in San Fernando, Patrick Manning attained his primary and the secondary education in South Trinidad. In 1971, a 25-year-old Manning entered the political arena during a no-vote campaign when he was elected unopposed for the San Fernando East seat on nomination day. The general elections were held on 24th May. The People's National Movement won all 36 seats in Trinidad and Tobago. Mr. Manning was appointed a parliamentary secretary during the years 1971 to 1978. The death of Prime Minister Dr. Williams in March 1981, Mr. George Chambers, who was Minister in the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, became Prime Minister. Patrick Manning replaced Mr. Chambers in that ministry, in addition to having his own portfolio as Minister in the Ministry of Information. General elections were held in November of 1981, and Patrick Manning was appointed Minister of Energy and the Natural Resources. When the PNM lost the general elections in 1986 to the National Alliance for Reconstruction, led by Mr. Arthur N. R. Robinson, Mr. Manning was one of three PNM candidates who retained their seats. The other two were Maurice Marshall and Muriel Donawa McDavidson. It was untenable that a leader who lost his seat could remain as leader. As such, Mr. Chambers stepped down from the position. Responsibility of the party fell to Mr. Manning. He was appointed leader of the opposition in parliament and within two months was selected to the post of political leader of the People's National Movement. It is often said that the character of a man is seen clearly in times of adversity and hardship, and what a time it was, with only three persons to keep a government in check. But Mr. Manning did not waver in the face of an uphill battle of guidance of his three-man army in parliament, as if that was not enough, then came the 1988 Nara split. And with the crossing of the floor of a Basdio-led faction of government members, the PNM became a minority opposition party in 1990. Following the attempted coup of that same year, United National Congress founder and leader Mr. Pandey and his colleagues told President Noor Hassanali they were opposed to the government of Prime Minister Robinson and also called for Mr. Manning to be removed as opposition leader. President Hassanali revoked Manning's appointment and appointed Pandey in his place. During all this, Mr. Manning did not falter or lose hope in his party and worked tirelessly to rebuild PNM member morale and the public confidence. His tenacity paid off. The PNM defeated the NAR in the December 1991 elections, and after 20 years in politics, Patrick Augustus Mervyn Manning became Trinidad and Tobago's fourth Prime Minister. His first term in office was not without controversy. In 1995, from August 5th to 8th, House Speaker Oka C. Paul was under house arrest by the Manning administration for allegedly attempting to usurp government's authority in the parliament. This was among the things that led to Manning calling a snap election on November 9, 1995, one full year before it was due. The PNM and the UNC each won 17 seats in Trinidad and the NAR the two seats in Tobago. The UNC and NAR joined in a coalition to form the government, and Mr. Manning again returned to the position of leader of the opposition for the following six years. When in 2001 the UNC-led government collapsed in office, this triggered the December 10th elections, which ended in another tie, with both the opposition PNM and the governing UNC winning 18 seats. Then President Arthur N. R. Robinson appointed Manning Prime Minister. But even with a hung parliament, Mr. Manning hung on to government until the need to pass a budget forced him to call elections in October 2002. His party won these elections with 20 seats to 16. In this term, Mr. Manning introduced the Government Assistance for Tertiary Education, or GATE, in 2004, and 190,000 people have benefited from it so far. In 2003, he opened the National Library Complex on Abercrombie Street, saying the library was part of the capital's new city centre, already established by the Brian Lara Promenade and the City Gate. He added that phenomenal things are in line for Port of Spain. With the increase of constituencies from 36 to 41 for the general elections of November 5, 2007, a tie was no longer possible. And again, the PNM won, this time with 26 seats. 
and as described by PNM Senator Foster Cummins in his tribute, Manning was a true comeback kid. Mr. Manning was again appointed the Prime Minister. This, however, proved to be arguably his most controversial term when rise in crime and some national projects drew public criticism. On April 9, 2010, he advised President George Maxwell Richards to dissolve Parliament and the general elections was called two years sooner than constitutionally due on May 24, 2010. The PNM lost to the People's Partnership Coalition led by Mrs. Kamla Pasad Bisesa. Following the loss, Mr. Manning resigned as political leader of the PNM, but continued as Member of Parliament for the San Fernando East constituency, a seat he contested 10 times until his retirement in 2015. When the 10th Parliament was dissolved in 2015, Mr. Manning, who was 68 years old, had served in the political arena of Trinidad and Tobago for 44 years. U.S. politician Adlai Stevenson once said, Patriotism is not a short and frenzied outburst of emotion, but the tranquil and steady dedication of a lifetime. The political career of Mr. Patrick Augustus Mervyn Manning can wholly be described as that of a true patriot. 44 years of unbroken public service to Trinidad and Tobago.